What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Dirtface ROM based on Android 12L on the Redmi K20 Pro of course and this build also includes the G-Apps and here are the change logs and this is a hotfix build as you can see from right here but I have experienced a weird thing after flashing this build particularly and I have never faced this kind of issue on other like custom ROMs but of course I will share that with you but before that let me tell you that if you don't know how to flash this ROM you can check out the cards or the description. Right now let me tell you that after I flash this ROM like normally that I do, I flash firmware, the ROM file and the disabled DM Verity of crypt. After that I just reboot it to the system. Of course I have cleared the Dalvi cache system vendor and data before like flashing this ROM and afterwards I saw that it was stuck on that Redmi logo and it was quite a long time that it was stuck on that logo like about 10 minutes I would say. So yes, you won't be seeing that problem with other ROMs but in this particular ROM with the stock kernel, it takes a really long time to boot. So don't think that your device is like bricked or something or don't think that the ROM will not boot, it will boot but you have to definitely wait for a lot longer when compared to other ROMs. So that's what I have faced with this dirt face ROM. After flashing this ROM, it was just not booting for 10 minutes. Afterwards, it started booting normally as it does with any ROM. This is something that I thought you should know if you are going to flash this ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro. So of course, the fluidity of this ROM is just amazing. Let me show you the about section. So in here in the Android version section, we have the dirt face logo up, up top and we have the Android 12 L mentioned over here and if you make this clock to 12 o'clock you will see the Android 12 L logo this is a new one so yeah looks beautiful if you're looking at the dirt faced version this is the official June build and this is the first June 2022 build and of course the build version is Shinju and here we have the maintainer's name as Anurag Bhomik and we have the security patch of latest of May 5th 2022 and here we have the stock kernel as the snap light kernel and this is the cause of that longer boot period I think. So yes that's how it is we have the SLX status showing as enforcing. Right now let me show you the system settings this is how it looks like we have the language and input right there of course you get the Gboard as the default keyboard here. In the pop-up camera settings you do get the motor calibration and stuff. Let me go back we have the gesture keys and in here we have the system nav gestures and in the settings you will find this pill length and the pill radius customization and stuff. So yes, you can customize everything regarding the pill bar over here. And we also have the extent swipe action if you are looking for those. And we have the amount of screen height to be used as the gesture and stuff. The haptic feedback, the back gesture animation, the full screen gestures and the IME button space. Everything is there if you are looking for that. Of course, the pill margin from bottom you can also customize. I just noticed that I did not have the Bluetooth headset connected over here for some reason but here I have connected it and of course it shows the battery percentage and stuff in the Bluetooth settings and if you go into the settings of the device particularly you do have that AAC or the Qualcomm Aptix HD audio depending on the device that you are using over here and if you're noticing on the status bar too you will get to see the Bluetooth battery percentage or like the bar over here for the Bluetooth icon and even in the quick setting panel it shows up have the two button and three button navigations and if you scroll down we have the one handed mode and that works perfectly the quick tap option is here that's the back tap works fine and the swipe break screenshot is working fine too there is all these share edit delete google lens and the capture mode feature then we have the double tap to check phone the double tap to wake or sleep is working and we have the quickly open camera then we have the volume rocker wake swap volume rockers options and the disable power menu on lock screen and the enable advanced reboot options then the quick torch is also there and we have the press and hold power button all of these are working perfectly fine here then we have the dirt faced updated you can definitely check for updates from here that's it about the system settings right now of course there is the doubt space and there are huge amount of customizations and i'll show you some specific customizations not all of them because it will take a really long time if i show you all these but yes all these customizations are working perfectly fine and as you are noticing the Wi-Fi icon and stuff I have changed already but let me go back let me show you the home screen first this is the dirt launcher which is present by default here and to the left of the home screen we get the Google's discover page and swiping down anywhere in the home screen will get you to the quick setting panel which looks like this in the light theme and of course if you switch to the dark theme it will go complete dark or pitch black 
no issues whatsoever with that and if you swipe up you will get the app drawer and you can search for any particular app that you are looking for right here and that app will appear and let me show you right now the widgets and the animation this is the google clock widget and if i tap on that as you can see the android 12 l animations are working fine no issues this is how the volume panel looks like and as you can see you can expand the volume panel just like this and of course you can change the devices if you want to from right here it shows weirdly right now i have just switched to the white thing maybe that's why but yeah it works fine and in the power menu there is that advanced reboot over here and you can directly go to the recovery or fast boot from right here and if you're noticing this background blur this looks beautiful i would say as you can see this is the dark launcher version 1.0 beta in the misc settings we have the taskbar enabling option then the scroll vibration and the grid of recent apps then the allow home screen rotation and the suggestions you can of course disable from right here let me go back we have the app drawer customization we have the drawer themed icons and the drawer labels and inside home screen we have the dark status bar lock layout and the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen is present that's awesome and i just love that here we have the google search bar the themed icons and the top shadow etc and in terms of the icons of course you can change the icon packs the notification dots you can enable and the icon size font size etc you can definitely customize right now i'll show you the security settings and in here we also have the app lock so firstly let me just go into that and let's go into the protected apps and in here if i go and lock this telegram app then i can lock also the google photos app and stuff also whatsapp you can lock it up we have the auto lock timeout you can actually set the timeout from right here then we have the collapse notification and the enable biometrics option and in here in the security settings let me show you in the settings we have the quick unlock option that's great also the face unlock and fingerprint unlock option is there of course let me just set up the face unlock quickly let me just enable the always on display quickly so that i can show you the fingerprint scanner speed and this is how the always on display looks like also i have this battery like bar enabled that's why it looks like this on the bottom so it looks definitely helpful i would say and double tap to wake is working fine from the always on display too and even double tap to sleep on the always on display i mean on the lock screen is working fine and let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed right now and if you're noticing it just unlocks let me try a couple more times so that you can get an idea about the fingerprint scanner speed and of course it's blazing fast no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner here and if you're looking at the animations yes i have changed that the icon i have changed to this dark faced icon and if i tap on that this is the animation which appears and it looks beautiful i would say now let's try the face unlock i just double tap to wake and this is how it looks like on the lock screen it doesn't pop out the front camera yet but if i swipe up then only it will go into the face unlock mode and as you can see it unlocks perfectly fine let me try one more time so if i swipe up as you can see it unlocks super fine no issues whatsoever with the face unlock here now let me show you the app lock and this is how the app lock settings looks like and the background becomes blurry and if you're noticing that like settings the last time you opened any settings it will open this bug is still there this is with the android 12 l sources i guess so if i tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see it goes directly into the app wherever i left it so yeah the app lock is working perfectly fine again also the double tap to sleep is very handy feature and i just love it like anywhere in the home screen you can just double tap and it will lock your device right now let me show you the quick setting panel of course the icons looks different because i've changed it and you have a lot more icons if you are noticing we have the google home controls the sound toggle the high brightness mode is also there this is the outdoor daylight brightness mode and the reboot toggle also is there then the desetting option is there we have the screen recorder too you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time with that heads up the battery saver option is there the always on display toggle and the dark theme the night light hotspot the wi-fi icons mobile data toggle is disabled because i don't have a sim card in the device right now but of course if you insert a wall d sim it should work perfectly fine and in the settings we have the door space and here again we have a lot more customizations like the battery icon style changing option and a huge amount of customizations is there but i will list a separate video for the customization section if you are going to look for that let me show you some more things in the lock screen settings and in here we have the always on display customization in the battery level on bottom battery bar when charging and always show battery bar options are there ui things and in here we have the udfps feedback and let me scroll down more we have the temperature unit changing option of the battery then the screen of animation you can of course change then we have the double line clock etc but inside customization over here we have the monet theme engine we have that uh, like pitch black theme over here if you want to enable that also we have the headline and body font changing option 
plethora of fonts that you will get over here it just doesn't end also the icon packs and the wi-fi icons and stuff you can also customize the signal icons options are there and the icon shapes as well also if you scroll down more in the customizations we have the fod icon picker and this is really interesting that we have all these icon packs fingerprint icon and of course we have this one plus and these ones looks definitely cool and these options i would say is definitely more than evolution x and that's just saying a lot about it a huge amount of options even two spider-man options are there and we even have this pac-man icon then the i don't know this is another pac-man icon pokemon and stuff so yeah lot of fingerprint scanner icons are there of course i have been using it with the dark face or the dark faced one and we have the captain america ones a huge amount of fingerprint scanner icons i would say so yeah a lot more options you will get over here and in the fingerprint scanner animation we also have the star wars one that i'm using but there are like the wormhole miui default aurora of k30 pro then if you scroll down more we have the mclaren the cyberpunk 2077 everything is there and huge amount of fingerprint scanner icons and the animations are there in this particular rom and you will definitely love it if you are some customization holic like me so right now let's talk about the battery settings this is how it looks like we have the battery usage and the battery charge warning and stuff but then again we don't have the battery charging cycle which kind of disappoints me like with all these customizations you don't get the battery charging cycles to see that's really weird i would say i would have loved to see the battery charging cycles appearing over here but that's not the case but we have the idle manager the adaptive battery and stuff and the battery charge warning etc right now let me show you i have tested the battery life with the echo battery app and as you can see it's giving me about six hours of screen on time which is decent i would say and if you're looking at my battery health it's about 76 percent here it shows by the way i'm using the same battery over here with 700 plus charging cycle the original battery the battery life is decent but do not expect very good battery life over here if you have not replaced your battery that's what i would say and the fast charging is working perfectly fine here no issues with that let me go back to the sound settings this is how it looks like pretty normal and we have the volume panel on the left side and stuff volume panel timeout is there that's good we have the vibration and haptic feedback customizations and the haptic feedback intensity you can actually customize from right here that's great and if you scroll down more we have the per app volume controls the screenshot sound you can disable and we have the me audio direct and in here we have all these presets of course i have been using it with the youth edition the sound quality for the headphone jack and bluetooth and the speaker as well is amazing you should not worry about it we have all these presets for the sound and we have the hi-fi audio option too then we have the clear speaker option if you're looking for that also another one is the mute media volume on silent or vibrate this will only affect the speakers it shows over here so that's how it is but i have tested that it's working perfectly fine like if your phone is in mute condition even if you have like a lot of media volume and if you have the speakers output only when it's not connected to any headset even if you play any kind of youtube video or something it won't actually play the sound of it so that's just really awesome if you're in a meeting or something it will definitely help in the display settings we have the adaptive or auto brightness the extra dim feature the live display and the rgb control is there then if you scroll down more we have the dark theme and the allow window level blur options are there so this is the window level blur that you are noticing and it works perfectly fine let me scroll down more we have the show refresh rate and the double tap to wake etc the prevent accidental wake up is there that's a pocket detection and we have the wake up unplug then also the dc dimming is there and it's working perfectly fine and again the high brightness mode is there and inside wallpapers and styles again we have the dark theme then the themed icons the app grid we have up to the 6 by 10 so a huge amount of options for some reason you will see the 6 by 9 is not there so yeah and we have the system icon packs over here so as you can see huge amount of icon packs are there of course i have been using with the akira one but you can go with any of these it will look great and we have the system font settings too from here which is still there in that customization section so yes i would say the dark faced is still one of the best customizable rom for the redmi k20 pro and even the stability of it was amazing like opening like any kind of things that i have tried is just opening really really smooth or fluidly and here if i show you we have the split top option and that should work perfectly fine as you can see right now i can just scroll through them just like this and i can switch between apps just like this too and you can scale it up and of course even if you go home in the recent apps it will stay together so your yeah, split top functionality is working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever also the ui just notice how smooth it is even when i have a lot of apps opened and you can clear all the apps from right here there is a google lens search option and the screenshot option and stuff 
So yeah, all these things are working perfectly fine. And if you are looking for the benchmarks here, the Android and Geekbench score with a CPU stress test on this particular build. Now talking about some basic things, yes, safety net passes right out of the box over here. You should not worry about banking apps on this particular ROM. Also talking about the DRM info, yes, in the last video that I have posted Project Awaken OS, there I showed that DRM certification has turned to L3. But here, as you can see, the L1 is back. So yeah, my L1 did not break and it's back with this dirt face drum, so I'm happy about it. So yes, you're getting DRM info as L1 over here without any worries. You can definitely stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p. So I forgot to mention the like really important part of the video that is the camera, which is the stock camera. Well, you get a really boring kind of camera by default over here, of course, and this is the old kind of Google camera. Does not look good. That's why I have installed the Gcam and stuff. Code Aurora Gcam and with that, it's working perfectly fine. The ultra wide angle lens, the normal lens and the 2x telephoto lens is working fine. Also the night sight mode and stuff is working and there is the front camera that's working perfectly fine too. You can also take portrait selfies and stuff. It's Gcam. So yes, it's a really stable experience overall. But let me tell you, if you are gonna use a next camera, I'm not really sure about that. If it will work, you can try it out. I have a separate guide to install a next camera. If you don't know that, you can definitely check that out from the description or the cards. So let me in the comments, what do you guys think about the latest dirt face ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro? I feel this is one of those ROMs which has a huge amount of customizations and it definitely feels stable as well to daily drive with. Also, you get that double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen and stuff that will make your daily driving experience a lot better. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Share this video with your friends if you like this particular ROM. This is Tito signing off from KDN Tech and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.